In order to know what type of focus you want to have in any given situation, you should plan ahead. Because if you come into a situation where there's a lot of stimuli, maybe one of them grabs your attention and you're like, oh, I should focus on that. And then you get hyper-focused on that and you're focused on that for two hours or three hours. And then afterward you come out of it and you're like, why did I focus on that thing for three hours? That was ridiculous and a waste of time. So you want to actually plan ahead and have a to-do list for each day. That's very helpful when you have ADD, ADHD, ADHD because it keeps you focused. It keeps you focused on the things that matter. What I like to do is I like to meditate every morning. I start out every day with a breathwork meditation. Before I even get out of bed, I do very intense breathwork meditation. And then I sit up and I do some mindfulness of breathing meditation. This helps me clear my head. I get my best ideas from this type of meditation practice right, right after I wake up. I have these great ideas. Immediately I grab a pen and paper. I usually try to keep a pad of paper and a pen next to my bed to write down these ideas. Because if I try to do it on my phone and I open the phone, immediately I'll get sucked into Facebook or Instagram or some other form of social media. I'll get sucked in by the first thing that I see. So instead, I have a pad of paper and a pen that is totally focused on writing down my to-do list for the day. And I write down the three most important things that I want to get done for the day, the three most important things that I want to hyper-focus on today. Very important, very important to do that. Because if you write down the three most important things that you want to get done for today, then you're going to really focus on those things and you're not going to let anything distract you. And if anything does distract you, then you'll see you didn't get those things done and then you'll say, okay, tomorrow I need to pay more attention to these three most important things that I need to get done. The same goes for the month, the year. You should have a to-do list for each month, for each year. So for example, let's say it's New Year's Eve, and you want to write down the three most important things that you want to get done for the next year. You write those down, and then every day when you make your to-do list, just make sure that it's making you move forward in one of those three things. Your short-term goals should always support your long-term goals. Even if it's not New Year's right now, maybe it's January 4th and you're like, no, I need to wait a whole year to be able to do this. No, you don't need to. Whatever day of the year it is, just write down the three things that you want to get done by the end of this year. You could do it on your birthday too. You can do it like, oh, what do I want to accomplish when I'm 35? You can do it for the decade if you want to. What do I want to do in my 20s? What do I want to do in my 30s? You write down the three most important things you want to do this decade. And then you write down the three most important things you want to do this year that support the things that you want to do in the decade. And then you write down the three most important things that you want to do this month. And then you write down the three most important things that you want to do this week. And then every morning, you write down the three most important things you want to do this day, today, that will support your goals for the week, your goals for the month, your goals for the year, your goals for the decade. It really helps to break things down and keep you focused on the things that matter. And staying focused on the things that matter that is how you will be successful in life, by staying focused on the things that matter. Using this system to stay hyper-focused on the things that matter is the superpower that allows people like Richard Branson, Elon Musk, and many other powerful entrepreneurs and world leaders to be so successful in life. They use that extreme mental energy that we ADHD people have, the ADD and ADHD people have, and focus it like a laser on the three things that they really care about doing in this world. One, two, three things that you really care about, focus completely. And remember, don't just narrow that down to career aspirations. That could be having a family. That could be meeting your spouse. That could be becoming a billionaire. It could be traveling the world. It could be whatever you want it to be, whatever is the most important thing in life to you. Take a few moments at the end of this video to just write down, what are the most important things that I want in life? What do I want to do with this decade? What do I want to do with this year? What do I want to do with this month? What do I want to do with this week? What do I want to do today? And write down three things for each of those time periods. And then, Use your new skills of hyperfocus 
to get started immediately on the first thing that's on your list for today.